Hey, welcome back to the next episode of Word on Monday. We are going to do a sweet chili sauce. Some people call it a Thai chili sauce. We're going to make the sauce, and then we're going to do wins. It's kind of a two-parter. We're going to make the sauce today, and I'm going to prep it for this weekend. I like to let it sit in the refrigerator and uh, do some little Marian thing with all the flavors. And we'll have this ready to go for maybe Friday. I think we're gonna maybe do some wings, maybe some shrimp in the sweet chili sauce we're gonna make. All right, so our ingredients here, we're going with a one third cup rice vinegar. Going with one third cup water. We're going with one third cup and two tablespoons of cane sugar. We're going with one tablespoon of, so this, they mentioned to use rice wine. I don't have any rice wine. An option for that is maybe a sherry, cooking sherry, if one would want to, but whatever. Another option is port port wine. I chose port wine. We'll talk about that. And then we have a tablespoon of sambal olique. It's a chili paste. Uh, I have been introduced to it. I think it's delicious. A little goes a long way. This is actually a little less than a tablespoon. I've made this a couple times. I think for those that don't really like it as spicy, we can back up a little bit. So. I'm going to go ahead and use a little less than a tablespoon. But we'll try it this way. Then we're going to use a teaspoon and a half of fresh minced garlic if you have it. A teaspoon of fresh minced ginger. Building the tower. We're going with a teaspoon of soy sauce. Now, we're gonna take this all over to the stove. We're gonna warm it up. And what we're gonna do is stir it until it boils. And we are going to add in, this is a little slurry mixture. Two teaspoons of cornstarch with some water. We're gonna stir it up, get this dropped in there. And that's our thickener for it. And, oh, and I forgot, in a glass of our pork wine that we're going to talk about here in a second. Mmm, so this stuff is delicious. This is Black Pearl from the Woody Lodge down here in Asheville, uh, not far from the house here. I should stop, by the way. You like pork wine? This is banging. All right, I'm going to take this over and get it on the stove. Get it boiling, we'll add our cornstarch, and after that, we're gonna let it cool down and put it in the fridge, and we're gonna have it ready for this weekend on some wings and shrimp. All right, we got cornstarch, and do it here. Stir it up a little bit, and then we'll shut this off and let it cool. You can kind of see it's already starting to thicken up a little bit. Go for about a minute afterwards. Thickening it up nicely.
Okay. Shitting the water off. The water. That's not water. This is more getting really upset. <laughs> Nobody should have to open a bag like this. Get you, my miss pretty. I get you. And you're gonna talk to. <laughs> Alright, so when we pour our charcoal in here, I gotta I gotta probably I probably got a little more charcoal than what I need. But when we make these wings, we're gonna actually take the coals and center them in the middle of the grate there. Set these off to the side. But this is what we're looking like. We just need some coals in the middle. I just want to get that uh, get the lid on these and get them closed up here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a green on. Get this warmed up. I have the damper at the bottom opened up. Um, you're, gonna, you're gonna probably cook these about 400, 450 is what I'm shooting for. You don't want it wide open because this thing will get screaming hot, especially with that many coals in it. All right, we got our wings here. We're gonna get about to get this put on. These are little pack party wings that I got. Uh, yeah, they're okay, they're frozen. Tough time to find wings right now. Um, what we put on these is uh, cornstarch and some of my mafia seasoning, uh, about half and half. Uh, got them nice and dry. I actually got these, set these out in the refrigerator overnight, let them air dry, and then rolled them in the seasoning and the cornstarch. And we're gonna get these things on the grill here and get them fired up. When I put these on the grill, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place the wings around the outside. Remember, my heat's all in the center. So I'm going to take them, put them around the outside, and then as these are cooking, we're going to keep rotating them. We're going to flip them over and around. We want to get a nice, even cooking on them, and the coals should be nice and hot in there. I'm figuring, depending on your temperature, you're looking at at uh, about 20, 30 minutes tops on the wings. Depends on how hot she is. Get a few of these a little closer. We talk on there, and we'll get in probably about 10 minutes, and we'll come back and check it. We ended up <clears throat> moving these around a little bit, over the top, around, got, kept the lid off, got the fire up nice and hot. Um, wings look great. These are cooked to about 170, 180. Um, wings, you can do that too. So we have our, in the previous uh, portion of this video, we made the Thai sweet chili sauce. I don't know why they call it Thai. You know what, hey, it's a sweet chili sauce. What's some tie have to do with it anyway? So we're gonna throw these into our chili sauce. We're gonna swish, swish, swish them around a little bit, and then we're going to glaze them and get them back on, on the fire here and get us a nice little. Let me see if I can do this. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right. Throw these back on here. I'm just gonna do a couple at a time here. Smells delicious. Delicious. And probably what I'm going to do as I do this. Oh, wow, now it's really. Oh, oh. Get a few more. Throw them on here. We have some shrimp going on next, too. I'm going to throw some shrimp, try some shrimp. I've been marinating the shrimp for 
uh, I don't know, an hour or so. Oh, come on, Mort. I didn't make a mess of myself. I didn't make a mess of myself. So, let's see. I've got the fire nice and hot now. Hopefully we still keep the crispiness from the, uh, from the wings themselves. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a couple more. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna let a few of these, I'm just gonna set those aside. And uh, we're gonna have a couple plain to test the crispiness. And then we'll have some here with a nice glaze on it. We'll get some shrimp on here. We'll be right back with you. I'm just gonna flip these around. Um, keep rotating them. See if I can get that. Uh, I want that glaze to caramelize on it. Hey, we got these wings. They smell so good. Just that caramelization of the sugars on these. They're nice and sticky, and they just smell pretty fantastic. I did a little shrimp here too. Um, yeah. I can't wait to jump at this. Hey, by the way, Paul. This is normally a Kurt job, but we got to stand in today. Paul, can you come over here? I sure can. We're gonna we're gonna do a little tasting here. In uh, honest opinion, let me know what you think. So, uh, are you a flat guy? I'm a flat guy. I'm a flat guy. Not really a flat guy, but I'm a flat wing guy. I'm thinking maybe I should have went with the second dip. I thought about the second dip, doing a little marinating, double marinade there. Well, good flavor. Cooked perfectly. Got a nice, got a nice little tang there. Heck yeah. All right, before I can sit here and eat wings in front of you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one of these. Nice and big. Good. You actually get more flavor out of the shrimp. I think it's, it's been marinating. It's been marinating for a while, so I'm sure that's what it was. Wow. All right. Hey guys. Successful. Heck yeah. All right. I just wanted to say thanks guys, uh, thanks for watching, remember, like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications for future episodes. Hey, thanks guys for watching, later on.